Hi, in this video we would like to do some presentation. The presentation, we would like to divide the presentation as two parts. The first one is about engineering analysis and the second one is about for modern company. Before we start the presentation, we would like to, we would like to introduce ourselves. My name is Muhammad Fikri Yusnati Putra. My name is Dewi Satika. My name is Salsabila. So let's get started. So the agenda is about management analysts. The, the first one is a job description. The second one is about what management analysts do. And the third one is the skills need to become a management analyst and of mission. For the company, there is an introduction, brief history, vision and mission, product and services and the impact of product in society. Okay, management analysts. Management analysts often call management consultants propose ways to improve the efficiency of an organization or a company and solve operational problems. Management consultants help organizations solve problems, create value, create value, maximize growth, and improve business performance. Say further, Management analyst Alexander Lowry. They advise managers on how to make the organization more profitable through uh, reduce, reducing operational costs and increasing revenue. They use their business skills to provide objective advice and expertise and help organizations to develop specialist skills that may be lacking. They conduct organization studies and evaluations, design system and procedures, and conduct studies of simplification and measurements of work. Management analysts usually work in the business field. What manager analysts do? First, gather and organize information about the problem to be solved and or the procedure to be improved. Number two, interview personnel and conduct on the site observation to determine the methods, equipment, and the personnel that will be needed. Number three, monitoring and controlling resources. Number four, analyze financial and other data, including revenue, ex expenditure, and employment reports. Number five, de develop solution or alternative practice. Number six, recommend new system, procedure, or organization change. Number seven, make recommendation to management through presentation or written reports. And number eight, convert with managers to ensure change our work. And then the skills needed to become a management analyst. First is analytical analytic skills. Strong analytical, strong analytical skills can help in implementing an effective strategy in the company. Management analysts should be able to interpret various information and use their findings to create proposals. The second is communication skills. Management analysts should be able to communicate clearly and appropriately both in writing and speaking. The third is interpersonal ability. Management analysts should work with managers and other employees of the organization where they provide consulting services. The fourth is problem solving skills, which is management analysts should be able to think creatively to solve client problems. And the last is time management skills. Management analysts often work under strict deadlines and should use their time efficiently to complete the project on time. Okay, the next section is about Ford Motor Company. Ford Motor Company is an American multinational automaker that has its main headquarters in Durban, Michigan, a suburb of Detroit. It was founded by Henry Ford and incorporated on June 16, 1993. The, uh, 1903. The company sells automobiles and commercial vehicles under the Ford brand and most luxury cars under the Lincoln brand. And then, brief story. Henry Ford built his first car in 1896, which he called a quadricycle. His first venture in 2000, 
car manufacturing was to the Detroit Automobile Company, which was founded in 1899. The Ford Model K was the company's first six-cylinder model and was known as the Gentleman Roadster and was going for considerably more than other cars available at the time. In 1908, the Model T was introduced. It was around this time that just a few cars a day were being produced at a rented factory in Detroit. In the Model T's first year, just over 10,000 Model T's were produced. Because demand for the Model T became so high, the company moved production to a much large plant in 1980. After a successful ad to increase sales by promising profit sharing, if sales hit 300,000 between August 1914 and August 1915, sales increased to 501,000 and 462 in 1915. In 1920, production will exceed 100 million. Ford Vision People working together as a team, global enterprise to make people's lives better through automotive and mobility leadership. Today, Ford refers to its mission statement as its vision, which is powerful in its simplicity. Today, Ford refers to its mission statement as its vision, which is powerful in its simplicity. Ford mission, as the inventor of the moving assembly line, Henry Ford was definitely in line with the working together and lead parts of today's Ford Modern Company vision. Ford products and surprise. For the first, automobiles and current manuals and for Mercus, trucks, buses, tractors, financial, supplies, automotive, and then the impact of Ford's product in society. Henry Ford was 39 years old when he found the Ford Motor Company, which would go on to become one of the world's largest and most profitable companies. It has been in continuous family control for over 100 years, and is one of the largest family control companies in the world. With the 1980s, Ford introduced several highly successful vehicles around the world and then become one of the first companies to produce cars and then become an influencer company to innovating a safety and environmental initiatives products and the last has a contract uh, has a contribution in society by Ford Fund, non-profit corporate foundation financed by contributions from Ford Motor Company, with a focus on education for driving safely to make people's life better. So the conclusion is how are the two sections or connections? Well, Ford is one of the motor companies that prioritize innovation. This is where the management analysts work to determine the innovation strategy. We see that with the role of manager and all these Ford can develop into one of the most respected motor company in the world and a favorite of the public. Not only promoting innovation, they also prioritize positive energy for the environment with one of them through the Ford Fund Company that arguably for gives its money for the good and progress of the environment. So that's all for the presentation. We would like to apologize if there is if there is any mistake in this video, in this presentation. And thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.